Good morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Tamsin Lee. And I'm Jose Guerra. Today is Monday, May 20th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Summer is only two weeks away and we want to know what everyone has planned for their summer. WSRH News reporter Luke Nozola has a story. So, where are you going for summer break? I'm going to be staying home and then I'm locking in on sports and getting a job. I'm going to be sleeping in and playing Brawl Stars all day. I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go on a vacation. Where? I don't know. So what are you doing this summer break? Working out in marching band. I'll be traveling to Guatemala. Um, band practice. Key West, North Carolina, and Cleveland. So what are you doing this summer break? I'm going to New York. I'm going on a cruise. I'm volunteering for a kids golf camp. I'm going to Costa Rica. Costa Rica! Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Luke Zolo. End of the year testing is approaching quickly. Your first period exam will be Friday, May 24th. Half days start next Tuesday, May 28th, with your second and fifth period exams. Wednesday, May 29th, are your third and seventh period exams. And Thursday, May 30th, is your fourth and sixth period exams. Seminole Ridge's graduation ceremony will be held Thursday, May 23rd at 1 p.m. It will be located at the South Florida's fairgrounds. There will be no school due to the late graduation time. Next school year, Seminole Ridge will be introducing the National Technical Honor Society, brought to you by our IT Academy. Scholarships await those who dare to dream big and work hard. In order to join, you need a minimum unweighted GPA of 3.0, as well as some other requirements. WSRH news reporter Jason Wayne has more information on how to join. I'm here with Ms. Felix, sponsor of NTHS, the National Tech Honor Society, for this upcoming year. So, Ms. Felix, how can you join? Yes, if you have interest, you would come to room 6201 and express your interest. I would then request of you that your GPA is correct and also that you get two reference letters from two of either teachers or someone that works in the school. Are there any minimum academic requirements? Yes, your GPA must be at least a 3.0 in order to qualify. Why should you join H NHCS? Well, this is not just a club, it's actually a gateway to lots of opportunities, such as scholarships and other available programs if you are in the Honor Society. Well, thank you for your time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Jason Lee. Your books are almost gone with just a couple left. WSRH News reporter Emma Edmonton has more about how many there, there are. Today we are here with Mr. Bell to talk about yearbooks. So Mr. Bell, how many yearbooks are left? We have 18 left. How much is it? They're currently $110. Uh, $110. When is the last day to purchase and grab your yearbooks? Today is the last day to purchase. So if you didn't want if you didn't get one yet, today is the final day for all sales just because we have accounts that we have to close out. Uh, you have really up until the last day to pick them up, but I'll be honest with uh, testing going on, it's going to be hard to get in here to pick it up. So I would really honestly say Thursday or not Thursday, Wednesday this week is the last day to pick them up. Okay, thank you, Ms. Bell. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Emma Edmondson. Helping the homeless will have their final meeting tomorrow, May 21st, after school in the cafeteria. Come help make sandwiches. We have plenty of bread, but need cheese and or lunch meat donations. Community service hours will be given. Attention to, to anyone interested in planning bowling next year. There is an informational meeting this Wednesday, May 22nd, right after school in Villa 2. If you have any questions, see Coach Pendergast. The band is having their last concert tonight in the auditorium. Let's go to WSRH news supporter Tyler Ortega for more information. Here at Jasmine Los Santos, you can tell us more about the band concert tonight. So what time is the concert? Tonight, the concert is at 6.30 in the auditorium, but the doors open at 6.15. Does it cost money to get into it? No, it is completely free. And who is welcome at the concert? It's open to anybody that wants to join the concert. Just Thank you for your time. For WSRH News, I'm Tyler Ortega. It's like too long. I don't need it. Uh, the, the marching band is having their last May Day, Wednesday, May 22nd. Anyone that is interested in joining can go to band room from 5 to 7.30 p.m. No experience is needed and you can join drumline, friend ensemble, color guard, or wind ensemble. Wear athletic clothing, sports shoes, and bring water. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hoffman in room 2113. For anyone with a sweet tooth, SGA will be selling candy every Friday for the rest of the school year. 
Prices range from one to two dollars. The chips at lunch will be on sale for the rest of the year. They'll be selling for 50 cents each. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. One billion animals are killed each year, and every 10 seconds an animal is abused. All because of humans. They're killed in excruciating ways, such as getting crushed, suffocated, and skinned, or burned alive. But you can make a difference. Log on to PETA.org or text P to 73822 to begin petitioning today. Hey, Tamsin, why didn't the lightning take part in the storm? I don't know. Why? It was on strike. Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Cole Single with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. For today's forecast, we have a high 92 and a low 73 with thunderstorms. And for our three-day forecast, we have a high 89 and a low 70 with sunny skies. And on Wednesday, we have a high 89 and a low 70 with sunny skies. And on Thursday, we have a high 91 and a low 70 with sunny skies. That's it for WSRH Weather. I'm Cole Singer. We have a happy birthday going out to Gabriel Bishop, Mason Murray, Garrett Neville, Justin Tucker, Sean Chambers, and Julian Francois. Happy birthday. WSRH sports anchor Kane Orton joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. We've got some sports to talk about today, so let's get right into it. If you are interested in joining the swim team, then please join the Google Classroom using the code M-E-S-Z-K-Y-6. You'll be able to find all the information needed to play for the team, including eligibility paperwork requirements, upcoming meetings, practices, and more. If you have any questions, you can ask Mrs. Pelfrey in room 7108 or Mrs. Weber in the Media Center. Remember, remember to have your paperwork completed beforehand because the season will start in August. That's the same time we start up school. This past weekend, our varsity boys volleyball team had their state semifinals. WSRH sports reporter Matthew Mearswa has the results. I'm here with Steven to talk about this weekend's volleyball game. So, how do you guys do overall? Um, we lost three sets to one against the number three team in the nation. How, do, how is the season? Um, we had a pretty successful season, won regionals, went to states. Is this the school's first time going to states? Um, I don't think we've been since 2011. What's your goals for next season? Um, make it back to states, win a regional title. And what does being at states mean to you? Um, it meant a lot. It felt good. Well, thanks for talking to us. For Deborah Trace Sports, I'm Matthew Mirzo. The spring football game was last Saturday at Jupiter High School. WSRH sports reporter Julian Caboose has the results of the game. I'm here with Coach Chief to talk about the past this past week in spring football games. So, Coach Chief, who did we play? Uh, we ended up playing Jupiter for one half, and then we ended up for the second half played Miami Palmetto. How did you perform in those games? Well, you know, we kind of had an issue on the way there. Our bus got a blowout tire on I-95, which made us about 30 minutes late. So the first game against Jupiter, we only had about 10 minutes to stretch and get ready to play. Uh, came out a little slow, uh, I think a lot due to that. And then uh, final score on that game, I think was uh, 14 to seven. Um, and then when we came back after a break, uh, collected ourselves, played Miami Palmetto for the second half. Um, came out real slow, started down 13 nothing, and then ended up winning 14 to 13. Is there anything that you could have improved on? Oh yeah, there's lots to improve on. That's why we do spring football, right? To see who's got what it takes, and then you know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, how things look on different fronts. Um, so it's really just for us as a litmus test to kind of see what we need to work on going into the summer. Uh, but all in all, you know, I thought the boys did great. Um, you know, just worked hard throughout all the adversity, like I said, with the bus and then the heat and all that stuff going on, uh, they did really well. 
And finally, based on these two games, how is fall season looking? Oh boy, we're uh, we're extremely excited about the fall. This has uh, been a year we've had circled for a while. We got a lot of premier players coming back, a lot of three-year starters, uh, two and three-year starters. So um, we have a really, really good football team. And um, if we can get things together, get guys healthy uh, and execute, we're going to have a really good season. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us, sir. For WSRH News, I'm James Cody Corona. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, the track team has their banquet that starts at 6 and the cafeteria. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Caden Norton. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Tamsin Lee. And I'm Jose Guerra. Remember that you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at, at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.